Hello to you. I'm Jesse Johnson. This is the four most destructive ideas ever produced by humanity. Over the course of thousands of years, humans have been good and sensible, as well as unforgiving, vicious toward each other. In that immense species process, humans have maintained constant and continuous viciousness and bloodletting violence, mainly, but not solely, by men, whose mechanical aptitude and skills are the highest on earth and, simultaneously, their social skills are some of the lowest there is on earth, making for an almost ineffable, utter, real, nightmare hell on earth. With, with women in tow helping, in their own female way, to drag things socially further down. But nowhere as far as men's ways. Men are depressing almost all major forms of life on earth with their unchecked murder, slaughter, and species genocide of people that belong to other species. In the end, for creating such karma as a species against life in general, we, the human race, is paying dearly and will pay dearly with its probable own sooner or later extinction. Our species, which is the correct name and the true anti-sexist, anti-oppression of womankind name, our species is one of the most magnificent, incomprehensibly exceptional species that is and has ever been. And yet we live in social as well as spiritual darkness, rotting away. So what are some of the mechanisms socially that has caused and is presently causing our species such terrible tragedies and trouble? Our total species as wondrous and overwhelmingly graceful as our species is, is under two types of life strains, natural stress and strain, of which all species and every single individual living being is under, and self-produced stress and strain, of which our species is under more amounts of than any other species. There are about four or five ideas humanity has produced that has crumbled virtually every human society and culture to this day presently, whether it be village, town, city, county, state, province, region, nation, empire, or internationals. They all, these people, human, they all attacked each other or internally disintegrated for only a few reasons. And one of the main reasons you can tell a, a culture has disintegrated and is dying is because homosexuality becomes rampant. When this happens, the, that country or city or etc. is as good as dead. These reasons are the same to this day in no specific order. No specific order. The first is God. G-O-D. Now, how many human lives have been crushed mentally and emotionally to pieces because of God? G-O-D. Or gods, plural. How many humans have attacked each other over this idea physically? The second worst and most and one of the most socially destructive ideas humans have ever produced is money. M O N E Y. Can you name a single life destroying thing humans have not done for some money? Humans by the millions and billions or what they potentially would do for some money. Humans in the billions cannot agree on almost any one thing in general, but they almost all agree that they want more money, each one. And they all agree that if everyone chose their non-existent God, 
and or hail to their garbage level religion, everything would be fine for all. Fantasy in both cases. The third is negative social political power, or simply power, over others, especially to harm or outright oppress them or destroy them physically. It's not simply a matter of to conform or obey or comply. These things are natural to all species. But the problem is what you are conforming, obeying, or complying to? Are you doing these things for the good of yourself and society? Or just to give the power or make money at all other ex others, at others' expense to yourself or a few others? The fourth is, one, is the root, R-O-O-T, the root and mechanism to all, all, and every, every human social and cultural problem, ego, E-G-O, which is a false mind-made self acting as though it is real. And the energies thereof from this ego is reacting throughout the physical body, making it seem more actual. Your personal internal idea of self isn't real or substantial. It gives a complete fake and false feeling of a separate self. This false feeling and fake non-real sense, not a true sense, like eyesight or hearing, it creates every form of social separatism in all and every life and anti-life area. Hence, the fifth and one of the most destructive of all ideas, separatism. The falsehood of I am a separate system with independent existence, fr free will, choice, and I own this and I own that. No such thing is the case in this universe. And sooner or later, this turns into my country, my religion, my people, and a host of sub-destructive ideas, such as I am separate from you, from the body, from the universe, the utter impossible. Are you independent? Are you separate? Is that right? Then stop breathing. Let's see your independence and separateness from the air. The last we'll talk about is values. The reason you do virtually every single thing is based on how much value you consider such a matter or thing to be. Values underlines everything, everything we do or say, destructive or constructive, socially. There are about ten categories to values. Aesthetics, mechanics, morality, etc. Morality causes some of the most troubles of the ten values. These ten values permits all twelve universal institutions of our species, of humanity, of our species, biologically, our species, sociologically, humanity. Those 12 universal institutions of humanity are art, economics, education, family, the most important institution there is, universal institution there is, family, and law, medical, mass media, Politics, poverty, religion, science, and spirituality. There are three to four other most destructive ideas our species have ever produced, causing extreme havoc 
and high potential of human race self-induced or produced extinction. I want to thank everyone for listening and watching. Please share this video with everyone and have a fine day.